Hey everybody, it's me Jordan from Random Reviews from Random Review Vlogs doing a little vlog for you. Yes, I've been doing a lot of reviews, but it's kind of both. It's a review and a vlog of um yeah, and basically what I wanted to talk about this video is um my kind of take on the new Starhawk update. And if you didn't already know, Starhawk is a really, really freaking awesome PS3 shooter where you can call You've probably heard of it before, you can call down structures from heaven. They come down, it's like bunkers and jet bikes, and, like, it's freaking awesome and epic. And it just got this new update called the 1.04 update, where it gets you three new modes, and this is all for free, three new modes, compatibility with the DLC, which so far looks great, vehicle paint jobs, skins, all of that. Um, it gives you all of that three new modes, which... Um, that's the main thing here, is it's Assault, which I've played a little bit of, and the people that play it are kind of idiots, so, you know, <laughs> didn't really do a lot of that, plus not a lot of people are playing that mode. So there's that, and, uh, Gatekeeper, which is the one where you fly through the rings with the jets, I haven't really, with the Hawks, I haven't really tried it yet, because, I don't know, it doesn't look like my kind of thing. Um, but the big thing is Arena Deathmatch, which is full-on... Deathmatch, just you against, like, a whole bunch of other people. Random structures coming down. You only spawn with your kinetic rifle. And, um, yeah, it's pretty freaking epic. Just saying that this is probably... It's it's awesome. Because it's so fast-paced. It This thing, if this game mode doesn't get your blood pumping, I don't know what does. It's gonna... Tr you're gonna go crazy playing this. Because, like, it's you just... And killing people, it's just like, there's so many people crowding in one place, and there's missiles going off, there's grenades exploding, and there's shots being fired. It's amazing. It's awesome. Arena Deathmatch is awesome. It's like the best mode ever. I love it. It's awesome. So yeah. It's one of the best things that's ever happened to the, to the game, other than them nerfing the hawk. Other than them nerfing the hawk, it's pretty much the, uh, which they did a couple of months back, but, um, yeah, it's awesome. And, uh, by the time I've uploaded this video, and by the time you've watched it, um, if you haven't bought this game already, if you're kind of, like, living under a rock and you haven't bought this game already, then, um, well, you have to buy it. And on PSN, they're doing this special offer now where you can actually just buy the multiplayer just by the single player. If you're PlayStation Plus, you get the single player for free, um, you have to pay for everything else, but you also get, if you're PlayStation Plus and you already have the game, you also get, if you already have the multiplayer, then you also get every single thing of DLC for free, which is pretty epic. I'm not a PlayStation Plus member, but wish I was. Um, anyway, uh, PlayStation Plus members get the single player campaign for free. You can buy the full game for 40 bucks, which is single player and multiplayer. Um, that doesn't con include any add-ons, which kind of sucks, but it doesn't. Um, and then you can do what I think you should do, is buy a, just the multi, is just the multiplayers for 20 bucks, which I think is a really, really good idea. Um, because, frankly, I didn't really like the single player that much. I played through it when I first got the game, and, uh, which was when it came out in May. Um, I didn't really enjoy it that much. It was just, it just wasn't very fun. It's mostly just defend the thingy missions where it waits to do something, or uh, you're just shooting people, dropping things on people. It's it's a good um, kind of 101 kind of thing. It's a good way to learn the game, but frankly, I just think you should just buy the multiplayer, and you'll figure you'll figure it out soon enough. But there's like multiple tutorials and stuff online. So you can just you can just do that and kind of you can see how it works. But yeah, I think Starhawk is right now on the way to becoming my game of the year so far. Um, but yeah, what I think you should do is if you haven't gotten it already, just buy this multiplayer because the single player isn't worth it. It isn't worth getting the entire thing for forty bucks. Like the single player just isn't that good. But if you're a plus member and you're getting it for free, you can try it out see if you like it. If you do, 
um, by the multiplayer because I think it's really amazing and I highly recommend um, buying the $20 multiplayer for Starhawk on the PlayStation Network. So yeah, this is Jordan signing off and I'll see you on my next vlog or review, whatever comes first.